Windows Movie Maker Tutorial for Beginners 2024. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video we're going to be talking about Windows Movie Maker and how you can use this absolutely incredible and really amazingly working movie making software, okay? So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Now to start things off, we are obviously going to go over to our Microsoft Store to download the Movie Maker, okay? So here we have Windows Movie Maker Video Editor. Okay, you can obviously get it off of your Google website as well. It's pretty easy to get it off from there. So you can simply come over to Google and search up Windows Movie Maker. There we go. So you can actually get it off of here, but they will give you the same thing that you download from the Microsoft Store. So I would prefer to just do it from here because it's much easier and more accessible. So once you do that, it brings you here. So Windows Movie Maker Video Editor, tell your story. First of all, this is your basic dashboard where it gives you your tools and your projects, okay? So here you can either create a new project or manage your previous projects, your former projects, okay? Now, once we go into, let's say, create new project, okay? I'm going to click on create new project over here to go ahead and start working with this. So this is what the project creation place will bring you in. It will load a basic timeline, if you know what I mean. So first of all, we're going to start adding our clips. So here it says add new clip, current precision, beginning of project. So I would recommend going on beginning of project and I'm going to click on add clips to start adding some good stuff. So I'm going to go into videos and obviously I have a few clips that uh, I want to add. So I'm going to go ahead and add uh, this clip right here. Okay. So, or, you know, what? let's add this one right now. So what it does is starts importing the file. And as you can see, my file is imported over here. Now you can actually arrange the clips differently if you want to, and you can actually edit soundtracks as well. So here you have your video track or you have your soundtrack. Now to start editing your actual video track, what you're going to do is you're going to click on the video track and go into more tools and you can split the video in, uh, you know, different variations. But before all that, let's go into settings. Let's discuss the settings of Windows Movie Maker. So first of all, there's the general settings where you can, uh, you know, check on the audio synchronization. So basically audio synchronization is when you put in an audio with a music video and you can synchronize it with the video if you want to. And there's the aspect ratio that you want to work in. And then comes the video clips where you can choose specific transitions. You can unlock specific transitions and a whole lot more. You have transform. Transform is uh, where you can set a default transform effect for yourself. You have photo clips that uh, you can set timers for and a whole lot more. So that's the settings. It's pretty simple. It's pretty basic. Now, moving on, if you want to go ahead and start editing a clip, what you can do is you can go into the split tool. Obviously, these versions are available in the pro uh, monologue, the pro, uh, you could say, trial. And you could get that for yourself. It's pretty incredible, but you can also do a lot on the free one. So to make do of the free track that we have, first of all, there's the video clip volume that you can control. So let me show you what kind of vibe you get. So as you can see, the video clip volume is pretty much dead right now. So I could increase this to full. And obviously it keeps going on and on. Now, you also want to make sure that uh, you have different uh, types of uh, stereos and volumes to work with because Windows Movie Maker normally sets itself with the default volume that you have. So let's say I have this default volume. So you get the whole point. So you can mess around with the video clip volumes, then you can actually transform your clip. Again, transforming is uh, you can uh, increase the size, decrease it make it horizontal like that, you know, make it look a bit uh, different. And this is how it's going to look. You're going to get a blurred background in the back and a transition in the front, which makes it look pretty cool. Uh, you can keep it like this in a square, keep it a bit to the side, you know, whatever you want. It's all accessible. I'm going to keep it on fit right now just to keep it like that. Now, once we do that, you can add in transitions for yourself and, and you can like fade in and fade out. Now, as you can see, that faded in and it also fades out. So, you know, you can add the transitions of your choice in the easiest way. So that phased in for us pretty simply. And then moving on, what you can do is you can add more transitions like the wave transition. Say I'll add that. Let's see how that looks. So look at that. It came in in a type of wave. Then you can actually rotate your video to, you know, 
set it in the aspect ratio however you want you can even add more and arrange more clips in this one timeline in this one project that's pretty simple as well you can add in different music tracks for yourself and even add a voiceover so let me show you how that works so as you can see i can currently record my own voice in this add it in this as well you can add in different types of musics if you want to and uh, you know add in different features and it gives you a whole you know catalog and monologue of features that you can add it's pretty simple working with a software like uh, windows movie maker because it makes things so easy to work with and the tools are really accessible then you have a lot of things like trimming the video you have things like splitting the video let's say i want to trim the video to a certain point like from here i'm going to add the trimmer and i'm going to end the trimmer over here so i'm going to trim that i'm going to add it there and i'm going to bring it somewhere around back here once you do that click on ok and that trims the video into two clips and it creates these two clips then moving on you can split the video in between you can even enhance the videos okay what enhancing the videos means is that you can add different uh, effects into it so there's saturation you can increase decrease the contrast if you want to like let's say i want the contrast to be full then there's saturation i'm going to take that you have the vignette scale so you can change the amount of vignette you want to add you have different things like exposure and all so let's say i'm going to come on exposure i'm going to take the exposure a bit high i'm going to do all that we're going to click on ok so you can see you can change the actual look of the clip moving on you have color grading now color grading is also a pretty uh, useful thing you can load in lut files you can even compare it with the former grading that you have so look at that you can actually compare all of that and moving on if you like your grading you can come back here go on more tools and more tools you get things like visual effects Visual effects is also a pretty uh, nice touch to this because you can add actual lively effects into your video. So let's say I want to add this in my video. You can preview oh, it. Fast, burning through the summer. So look at that. It adds all these nice effects. It adds all these nice previews. And once you've done all of these and like what you've done, you can simply go ahead and save the project and save the video. So once you click on save the video, I'm going to go save the project. And now once you want to export the video, what you can finally do is you get these options so first of all it helps you choose the resolutions there are wvga hd full hd and 4k then there's the formats so you can do it in an mp4 hd64 format on all these formats as well so you get the best formats to do it in and simply click on ok to start exporting your video and the export takes like the bare minimum time so that's pretty much the idea of how you're going to use this. As you can see, it's pretty simple and pretty easy to use this. It's pretty fun to get along with this as well. So please do make sure to start using Windows Movie Maker for yourself because it's absolutely one of the most incredible editor apps out there and it's for Windows. So yeah, that's pretty much about it for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see all of you in the next video. Goodbye.